bombing is just the act of writing your name quickly, you know, making a bomb, you know, catch and tag, you know, writing your name, that bomb. Graffiti is the best and worst thing that's ever happened in my life. I started doing graffiti in 1984 after watching Top of the Pops and uh, seeing the Buffalo Girls video. I want to do it more now than I did when I was young, you know? <laughs> <laughs> One, two, one, two, three. Take three. And I'm not angry that I've gone through all the things I've had to go through because I wouldn't change it. I wanted to try and burn everyone and do the most pieces and do the most tags. The amount of hours I've spent in cells caught loads of times. The amount of times I've hurt myself getting away. I've done trains. The amount of risks I've taken. I've done bombing. Different situations that I've ruined. I've done everything because of graffiti. But I, could, I couldn't change them. It's all going to just add on so that when you're an old man sitting there laughing about the stories of the things you've done, it just makes your story all the richer, doesn't it? Initially, graffiti was just like a tag, you know, and it wasn't called graffiti, it was called writing. You would write your name on your neighbourhood, and, and then people started thinking, well, you know, I'm famous in this neighbourhood, people know who I am, so you would go to the next neighbourhood. They would then be catching the train to go to the next neighbourhood, because the next neighbourhood was no longer in close proximity, you know, so they would have to travel. So they thought, well, if I write my name on it, I don't need to go all the way to the bottom of Brooklyn or the end of Queens or the top of the Bronx, I don't need to go there because this train's going there. So then people started to try and use methods to make their names stand out, which is obviously how we then get to the graffiti that we do today. My name's Josh Cole. I'm a photographer and director, and I'm making a film called Bomb the World. I've been travelling the world for some time now with my work, and, and uh, I've found that everywhere I went there was graffiti community, there was a breakdance community. It's like the word of hip-hop has spread around the world. Even going to places like Central Africa, I went to Rwanda, and there's, there's no even spray cans there, but they're still trying to paint graffiti on the walls. It's just amazing to me how it seems through these hardships, they're affiliating themselves with hip-hop culture, and I think uh, that's what's really interesting about this project. I want to take Arrow, who's one of the world's most notorious train bombers, to 10 different iconic slums around the world. And we're going to collaborate with the local artists to produce an amazing graffiti mural in each place. It's kind of like this phoenix from the ashes, the beauty that comes from this hardship of the slums, you know, and, and these people are trying to produce something beautiful still. I would really like to go back to some of these pioneer guys that invented graffiti when we finished the project and talk to them about if they had any understanding that the thing that they were doing that seemed such an insular, unique thing to them would have such an impact on the world at large. Who started this this really simple thing, did you have any idea that this is where it would end up? I want this project to be so unusual and so original that when people look back at graffiti, they'll have to say, yeah, this project happened, that was really outstanding, that took graffiti to the last places that it had never been before. Got a man staying primed like a panther all day. <laughs>